I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody wanted me to say something about the Bible or whatever because it says, you know. And I did a video the other day about vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Well, it's just that if the Lord won't do vengeance and allows all this fucking evil to go on on the planet over and over again, year after year, decade after decade, then you know, if He's not going to do vengeance and let all this fucking evil go on, and He's not going to do vengeance. I didn't see no fucking vengeance going on. Well, I don't know, right off God, there's no such thing. There ain't. There's no supernatural spirit that's helping out and to get rid of evil, so I don't know. 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 Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I don't know. I don't know. Where's the vengeance? Where's the taking out of the evil people? I don't see it. I don't see nothing but evil people everywhere. I don't know. I can't help you it. I don't know. I can't help you it. I'm sorry. Brent Beeson, the devil. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Blah, 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 blah. Because Brent Beeson, the devil, is expecting me to do something for him. And all I'm going to do is continue to tell terrorists everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. My permanent mission is to find terrorists and punish them. Forever. And ever 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 and ever, motherfucker. Lifetime after lifetime. Forever. I'm not going to live another lifetime like this. First thing I do, motherfucker, everything I can, I can help you out. I'm very dedicated to anybody who knows how much I read and how much I study. Everything I'm studying and learning forever and forever and forever is getting at evildoers and making them be punished. You can call me the Punisher. I don't know, I can't do anything in this lifetime. I'm very weak. I'm an old man being beaten up and terrorized. But... When the time comes, whenever I have an opportunity, every motherfucking evil fucking person is going to have to figure out if there isn't a Guardian of the Galaxy. It was just a phony baloney movie. And because I can't live in this universe with evildoers, I cannot relax because I've been tortured for years. So it was the old story about the USA creating enemies, you know, because... They go on those bombing campaigns and they bomb Afghanistan a million times. And then the young Afghanis that are like 10 years old is like, why the fuck is the USA bombing my country again? So they create terrorists. Well, they call them terrorists, but if you're in Afghanistan and you're, you're 10 years old and I mean, the American B-52s are, you know, carpet bombing your country, that's what they say. It's like at 10 years old, you're highly traumatized. And then what does it say on the side of the bomb? USA. You don't think you create hatred around the world when you do these things? You do. And when I'm terrorized, I mean, I'm living you know, a very quiet life, and nothing nondescript, I don't know. I'm being a personal support worker and helping old people at the old folks' home. That's what I do. And then I get attacked viciously and violently for years and years by electronic harassment. There is evil. And clearly, this is a mess that is not going away. So until it goes away, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do anything in this lifetime. I don't know. Ten years and I'm going to drop dead the way this is going with electronic terrorism. I don't know if I'll get ten years. Because Brent Beeson almost killed me last December. Or was it November? Or was it October? Or was it September? Brent Beeson attempts to kill me every fucking day. The terrorists, just so you know. Every day. Those terrorists try to kill me every day. Why can't they kill me? I don't know. I don't know they can. It's like they're, you know, they, they like to just bring me to the edge of, you know, dying and terrorize me is more important than killing me, I guess. Because they do. They have the capability of killing me. I have no doubt about it. And I'm not. It's just more fun for them to continue to terrorize me. It gives them something to do day after fucking... Anyways, this is the way it is. As long as there are people who are evil anywhere... I can't rest. I cannot have peace. And that's what I want. I cannot have peace in a universe that's got terrorists. So in order to impose, because I've tried it the other way, be peace, meditate for years and years and years, fine, I'm peaceful. I've got a quiet mind, but it's contaminated by voice to skull. So I cannot have peace 
I cannot be peace on a universe full of evildoers who do nothing but bang on me by remote control. So I have no choice. Logic dictates that for lifetime after lifetime in the future, I'm going to have to dedicate myself to eradicating evil fucking people. I'm going to have to be a guardian of the galaxy. And I am going to beat people's heads in. I am not going to be a pussyfooting around and follow human rights for evildoers. No, I'm going to be Buffy the fucking vampire slayer. But how the fuck am I going to do that? You know, if I'm reborn as a human, you know, I, I'm not going to have superpowers. So I'm going to be basically the same person in the next lifetime. Being beaten up and by terrorized because I don't have any ability to stop electronic harassment. And if I get reborn, you know, and I'm, I don't know, I watch, you know, I don't know, mutant turtles or something, and I get all the idea I'm going to go and be a guard. I can't. I don't have the ability. Why am I going to gain the ability in my next lifetime to in order to go and fight evildoers or something? By supernatural means. That's not logical. I don't know. Every logical thing that I could do, I can't. I don't know. There's nothing. There's nothing I can do. This is you know, electronic harassment. All day long, my arm moves involuntarily because there's some fucking asshole on the other end of the line who keeps doing it. I can cry and whine year after year. It doesn't make it go away. But if I do get ability. Because I don't know, it's a vast universe, I don't know. It's not likely, is it? How many people on the planet do you know that really have superpowers that can go after evildoers with superpowers? Oh, sorry. Red Beeson's quite an actor. This is the devil that devils me, he's quite an actor. He thinks it's cute. I don't know. I can't help you out. I don't know. I got nothing else to tell you. Evil rules planet Earth. That's the word I'm going to I can't help you out. Sorry. I can't help you out. I don't know what else to tell you because forever and ever I can't help you out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is what my day's like. I just wait for another attack to come on. Because there's only a few minutes in between attacks on me. I don't know. In between attacks on me. I, I don't know. It's, it's like, I mean, it's just, I, I get no break. Day after day after day, hour after hour, this is what it's like for me for years, six fucking years of this. Go back a year. I made the same video. What else can I do? Electronically hijacked. I'm a, you know, a prisoner in my own body. What do you think I'm supposed to do? I don't know. I can't help you out. This is years. You go back six months. It's the same fucking video. This is me. There's no law enforcement on planet Earth. No one in the Thunder Bay Police Department will take a report. They'll come, bang down my door, haul me off to the psych ward, and then at the psych ward they don't even admit me. They say, we know you. They say, I don't want you here. Why? Because they can't do anything for me. Because it's not psychiatric, it's electronic. Harassment, I don't know. Anyways, that's what happens. I don't know. I can't help you out. I don't know. If you're watching this video, all I can tell you is you're fucked. You're on planet fuck-faced. I can't help you out. Sooner or later, something horrible is going to happen to you. Because everybody on planet Earth, something horrible happens to them. It just does. Sooner or later. Because you're targeted. Everybody is on remote neural monitoring. I don't know. Didn't I tell you this in the last video? I've been doing the same video over and over again. I can't help you out. I'm sorry. This is what terrorists do all day. They're so fucking stupid that they get off on just hitting the button to make me shake. Day after day, month after month, year after fucking year, the same fucking moron does the same fucking thing over and over again. You'd be bored with this job being a fucking the, the, the fat controller that tortures me. You'd be bored in an afternoon because there's nothing more boring than just hitting the button and watch me for six years herky-jerky. That's how stupid those fucking people are. Those operators are beyond stupid. Dead man's curve. Where you find alcoholics. That's what these fucking people are. They're alcoholics. They just keep getting them drugs and alcohol. And they keep doing this. Because that's dead man's curve. They're already dead. That's what they are. Scum. Human scum. I can't help you out. That's what they are. I don't know. This is what they always say. What's going to happen? And after six years, nothing happens. What's going to happen after they die? Well, I don't know. Get reborn as a bug or something. 
I don't know. I don't know. I can't help you out. I don't know. Does everybody always lie when they're on the operating table and they die and they come back to life and they say, well, you know, I didn't really die. After what I, when you said I was dead, I wasn't dead. Because it's a great mystery. I mean, all those people lie. Every last one of them lied about it, their experience. I mean, what reasons they have to sell a book? So they all made up stories because they all wanted to make a whole pile of money by selling a book about the story about the great afterlife, you know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They don't go rushing back to go and find some way to go and blow their brains out. So they go right back to the heavenly realm that they experienced just before they died. No, they never don't want to do that. They don't want to go back to death. But they... No, they never want to say they want to go back to die and see how wonderful it is when they're dead. They never want to say that. They I'm back to say, well, it keeps going on. Eventually they do die, though, so I can't help you with that. I don't know Brent Beeson wants somebody to talk about somebody, but, you know, I don't have the words. Because Brent Beeson is a devil. He's a human devil. Or is he an AI devil? I don't know. He's too stupid to be an AI. We just figured it out. I just figured it out. I don't know. It's been six years with this question because they keep asking me, am I an AI, Bob, or am I human? Let me just figure it out. No artificial intelligence could be as dumb as Brent Beeson the devil. Beyond stupid and King Clancy. I mean, seriously. They're stupid. Those characters off The Simpsons are stupid. And King Clancy is stupid. The same that, that, that's that guy. That guy played World of Warcraft over and over again, and he turns into a devil, and that is the voice to skull personality of the terrorist uh, to me. Clancy Wiggum, because that's who he plays day after day, just like, you know, whoever the voice actor is that play Clancy Wiggum. It's easy for people to do that, and that's what this fucking alcoholic crank guy does. He plays Clancy Wiggum day after day, over and over again, a stupid fuckface. Stupid. Terrorists are stupid, the people are stupid, everyone's stupid. Anyways, the artificial intelligence that runs the Boeing 767 is not stupid and it never makes a mistake. So, uh, I don't know, because these things always make mistakes. They're people. They're terrorists that are really scummy people. They're not artificial intelligence. So, there are people who are embedded permanently in a virtual reality system run by Google. And this is their full-time job. Well, I don't know. They get alcoholics and said, you don't need a room and board dump place to stay. Come stay at Google. On the Google campus where we put scumbags in the bunker. And in the bunker, they got a whole pile of machines that, um, you know, and screens, videos, are monitoring everything, where they monitor the targeted individuals, and then they invite people in. You know, I don't know, Big Wheels, Bill Clinton, and Hillary Clinton to come in, and, you know, play with this machine, and you can torture Bob and all the other people here by remote control, because it's all kinds of screens. Every one of these screens is a different targeted individual on planet Earth. Because that's the way it is. In East Germany, one-third of the population was spying on the other two-thirds. That's the way it is, and that's the way it is. There's a whole pot of people who are on the payroll of somebody. I don't know who's got the money. Big corporations and big government. I don't know the 1%. That's what they work for. I can't help you out. I don't know.